So what was Logan like before he was diagnosed? Um, Logan was a very loquacious kid. I mean, it was very difficult to get him to stop talking. He yeah. was fun and full of life and people meant a lot to him. He had a very good connection with people from the time he was really a baby. People would be drawn to him and I never really could understand it, but as he grew and it became more of his personality, I felt like it was just a gift he was given to be able to connect with people. The thing with Logan is that it didn't matter who was in the room with him, you were the most important person at that moment. And people sensed that and loved that about him. Logan, was, he had about eight different surgeries or procedures throughout his life. His hospitalizations were more than a dozen, but if you took them all and kind of compressed them, it was probably about six months of his life that he spent in a hospital room. What were your feelings about the first Logan's Week? Um, the first Logan's Week. So the first Logan's Week happened when Logan was actually in a rehab center in Twin Falls. He just had some surgery and he needed rehabilitation. When the student council came to me and asked, hey, this is our idea, we wanna do this. You know, as any mother would feel just a lot of joy and thought, man, these, these this group of kids are so cool that they want to give this little piece of um, love and concern for Logan. And I just thought that was amazing. I was really excited about the idea. I knew Logan would be. They took all of those little sticky notes and put them in a book and took it to the hospital so that he could read them. How do you feel that Burley High School continues to do Logan's Week? You know, I have to be honest with you, I'm really surprised. I really thought for those first couple of years when he was in school, it was an amazing thing. It was something to make him feel really good and supported by his student body and the faculty. Um, but I really thought it would die with him. I didn't think it would be carried on. This year, unfortunately, because of COVID, we can't have the assembly, but we're still going to be doing Logan's Week. We're going to be doing it on Thanksgiving that whole week. And we want everyone to use the hashtag, hashtag Logan's Week. And everyone's going to be talking about what they're grateful for, putting it up around the school. And then that Tuesday, we're going to be wearing the color blue because it was Logan's favorite. What, very few of you even knew him, okay? What makes it what it is? I moved here last year and I had no idea that they even had a Logan's Week. I had no idea what it was. But then I had some friends kind of explain it to me. And the whole environment, the whole, I guess, vibe of the school changes if just for a week. He had the ability to get people um, to serve and, and to get people to reach outside and be outside of their comfort zones. And Logan's Week started with Logan, but continues with us. What do we do with Logan's Week? We live in a culture right now that um, it's either, you know, go big or go home. And that's really, I just don't agree with that. Um, you either have to be the best athlete, you have to be, um, look a certain way, you have to get certain grades in order to be, you know, in order to be big. And Logan was none of that. He was a boy that made people important, feel important every day of his life. 